Um, I was here last year and I talked about an app called Vocal Recall. Um, and I'll just explain a little bit about what Vocal Recall did. It allowed um, teachers and students to record uh, uh, audio message on their phone and then scan the QR code and have the audio uploaded onto the QR code. And this proved very popular with language teachers, uh, assessment tool for normal teachers, students submitting their homework, treasure hunts, accessibility for children with special educational needs, and uh, many, many more things. Unfortunately, Vocal Recall, uh, we had some issues and we had to take the app down uh, due to problems with the other developer I was working with. But I'm here today just to tell you that we are now um, reawakening as Class QR. Uh, this, will be, this will be the new version of Vocal Recall. Uh, I'm here today with uh, the new other half of Vocal Recall, uh, who is Angel, and he'd like to say a little bit about why he's decided to get involved with this project. Hello? Yeah, okay. I can hear myself. Right, uh, yeah, uh, so uh, Graham told me that uh, he needs some help uh, with developing... Uh, sorry, ah, okay. I'm not a senior. Uh, right, so, um, yeah, uh, Graham rang me up and said I need some help with uh, an app. Uh, he described, you know, what the app does. Uh, I thought my sister uh, is a teacher as well, and that would definitely help her, help her uh, use the time it takes for her to do all the marketing and all that. And I thought, you know, I'm really up for that. And uh, yeah, it, it's, uh, for me this app is, you know, basically improving people's lives, you know, uh, and uh, making the, uh, you know, uh, and, you know, uh, any teachers basically spending more time with uh, what they should be spending and not, uh, you know, just uh, writing down on the things. Uh, and I shall uh, pass uh, the microphone back to Graham because I, I wasn't very blessed. <laughs> Thank you, Angel. Um, so, just a little bit about what's coming up in case you weren't familiar with the app. Um, this is uh, pictures of what the app looks like now. We made it as accessible as possible, so a very large record button. All you do is you record using this button, and then you scan one of the codes, which is sent to you by email. And that audio then goes onto the code, and you can stick that code on someone's book. And they can listen back to your feedback just by scanning the code with any smart device. Uh, this allows students to perhaps speak some language at home, um, without the teacher being there. And then the teacher could listen back to that without having to use a dictaphone. Uh, very, very useful for language-based subjects. Uh, we've also improved previously upon local recall, and we now have a note section when you upload. So you can actually have a, a lot of data, uh, project, grade, uh, and there's also a comment box further down. And what's even better is you don't actually have to type this in via the keyboard, you can just use the audio to text translation tool, so you can do it very, very quickly. Uh, and you can keep an online mark book, uh, just like you would maybe uh, with Excel. So, the features that we're hoping to release with are, um, we made it very scalable. Vocal Recall, uh, we hadn't got that in mind when we first launched, this is now a lot more robust. Uh, we've got student data slash teacher mark book included. Uh, we have a searchable history, um, we are uh, making it so you can back up your history in case you lose your phone, you can retrieve it. Um, we have a custom code layout. I know people previously felt that the 5x7 the code that we had um, maybe didn't apply to all, all sticker sheets. For example, people in America, they have different paper sizes. So we've designed an entirely customizable uh, sticker layout so you can have as many stickers as you want on the page in whatever orientation or order. Um, we have much better encryption and full anonymity, which we know is important to schools. So there's no data at all which is stored on our servers that isn't encrypted. Everything is completely in line with GDPR and we take that very seriously. Uh, we have faster code generation. It's now down to 0.5 seconds from 30 seconds. And smaller PDFs, 140 kilobytes from one megabyte. So maybe your inbox doesn't fill up as much. We are really looking for some feedback today, so if you did use Vocal Recall, then come and find us at the social afterwards and tell us maybe what features you might find useful and we'll make it over and see if we can incorporate it. Anyway, thank you for your time. We hope to release at Christmas, that's our deadline at the moment. So keep an eye on our 
Twitter page, which is class underscore QR. And you can also email us at hello at classqr.com if you want to contact us as well. Thank you very much to ALL, Helen, Joe. Really, really thankful to you. So much. I know it was something that I took back to my school, that it was particularly a physics teacher who used it. I know that's your, he loved it. He used it with his A-level students. He would just give verbal feedback. Also, he used it to tell stories to his little boy. He wrote, he said the stories and the little boy would then just listen to it. So it was really very, went down extremely well.